What's happening right now from RTV6, the Indy Channel. Tonight, there is more fallout from a four-day reign of terror allegedly conducted by one man. Two women say they were raped by Michael Parrish after getting abducted at a Walmart store, and they are filing a lawsuit against the retail giant. RTV6 reporter Derek Thomas joins us live with the new developments. Derek? Todd, over a span of four days, Michael Parrish allegedly sexually assaulted five women. Two of those women are suing Walmart. 37-year-old Michael Parrish is accused of abducting two women from this Avon Walmart parking lot and taking them to another location and raping them repeatedly. This lawsuit asks for damages against Walmart Stores Incorporated. It says store security followed Parrish's actions through the store via its security cameras, and in fact, their security camera captured the kidnapping. Yet, according to the lawsuit, Walmart failed to intervene, failed to contact police, failed to report criminal activity, and failed to render appropriate aid. Do businesses have the responsibility to safeguard their customers? If they know that things take place on their particular property, they, they have an obligation under Indiana law to address those uh, and try to deter crime and pay attention to what's going on and take notice of those events and react accordingly. Indiana also recognizes the notion uh, that a landowner or business owner uh, has an obligation to come to someone's assistance or rescue if they're in a position of peril. Walmart would not comment directly on the case, but spokeswoman Betsy Harden told me our thoughts are with these two women. The safety and well-being of our customers and associates is always our priority, and we take what has been reported seriously. Now, Harden says Walmart will continue to cooperate with authorities. There is no hearing date yet set for the civil suit. Live in Avon, Derek Thomas, RTV6.